Hey, good morning, everybody. We're finishing the story about Joseph today from Genesis chapter 44. And Joseph is seemingly a, a worldly success anyway because he's the number two guy in all of Egypt. However, we find out that he's struggling with this natural human inclination to get even uh, versus what God really wants, of course, is to forgive. Now, I know I've struggled with this in my life. How about you? Uh, Joseph's brothers hurt him. I mean, they really hurt him, more than hurt him. They sold him into slavery. Uh, and it's now 23 years later, and his brothers have resurfaced, and, and they need food. And, and uh, in yesterday's readings, we saw that Joseph began to dabble a little bit with revenge. It, he finds a reason to lock him up in prison, and, and, uh, and, and he keeps his own identity hidden during that, during that time. However, we also find out that the revenge is eating him up from the inside, and that's always what bitterness does when we, when we, when we take that tack. Uh, but he finally releases them, but he's still not done yet. He plays another trick on his brothers as he sends them back with lots of food uh, to get the father. He also plants a, a silver cup into Benjamin, his brother's bag. And then he stages a discovery, and, and he demands that Benjamin stay with him, and, and actually as a slave. And then in the midst of discussing this, uh, Joseph it begins in chapter 45. It says, Joseph could stand it no longer. Uh, going on to verse 4, it says, he says, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you slow, sold into slavery in Egypt. But don't be upset and don't be angry with yourselves for selling me to this place. For it was God who sent me here ahead of you to preserve your lives. This famine has ravaged the land for more than two years and it will last five more years. And there will be neither plowing or harvesting. God has sent me ahead of you to keep you and your families alive and to preserve many survivors. So it was God who sent me here and not you. So somehow in the midst of all this struggle, Joseph realizes that, that forgiveness is the only way to healing. And we realize that, of course, that's what Christ came to bring. And forgiveness is hard. In fact, forgiveness is impossible, I think, without God, without, with trying to do it on our own. Sometimes the wounds in our heart are just so deep and so raw. And, and we know that forgiveness has to be a God thing. And the other part of it is, is we need to leave the justice part to God. He's far better at it than we are. You and I are, 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 are called to forgive, to allow God to work that miracle in our hearts. Unforgiveness will always be like a cancer that eats us out from the inside. But forgiveness, with God's help, will free us up from, from being a bitter person. And it can be a powerful witness to others around as to the power of what God can do in our life. It doesn't mean that our relationships will automatically go back to, to uh, uh, complete intimacy or anything like that. That takes time. But as we allow God to work on our hearts, he reminds us that he's forgiven us. And, and, so, and so now we're able to for, forgive others. The question is, do you want to stay bitter? Or do you want to allow God to make you better, to free you up from uh, the bitterness that, that holds on to us. Ask for God's help. He wants to free you up. Have a great day. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.